names and noble phrases. There are actions I have the legal authority to take as president that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. Tonight, I'm announcing those actions. What I say goes, see? I'm the law around here. <laughs> he came, he saw, he died. <laughs> in modern warfare, our military leaders are finding that words and ideas are highly effective weapons. We just have to be repetitive about this. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. We are trained to deceive if we have to. You really didn't, don't have to trust me. You shouldn't trust me. In fact, by my actually participating in that, I will taint the news. In communities of this kind, despotism stands a good chance. The nine most terrifying words in the English language are I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Okay, Miss Youth, well, we're, we're going to do everything we can to help you. <laughs> Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's the Alex Jones Show because there is a war on for your mind. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the program, there is a war on the Constitution, and you need to understand it this way. It's not simply a gun control action that's going to be pushed by Obama. That's the way it's going to be sold to the public. And of course, this is the one part of Obama's agenda that he really hasn't been able to enact yet. So it's going to be a full-on push this year. Joining us now to talk about this and the fact that it is a war on the Constitution, it is a war on due process is Larry Pratt from Gun Owners of America, tirelessly working for a long time, no stranger to the viewers of this program, tirelessly working to protect our individual liberties. And they have a couple of legal actions that they're taking against some of the actions that Obama has proposed, as well as some others in Congress and elsewhere. So joining us now is Larry Pratt. Welcome, Larry. Good to be with you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you so much. And I want to talk about uh, these, these different actions that you've got coming up here. Of course, the first one is a response to what we've seen, uh, the uh, gun control people pushing. And that is to say, this is outrageous. And I've seen this pushed on Fox News as well. It's outrageous that people who are on a no-fly list can buy a gun. And yet when we look at their very figures, we know that 91% of the people who have been vetted by the FBI who were on the no-fly list had nothing 
on them that would keep them from owning a gun. So the question isn't really so much uh, the fact that these people are automatically terrorists because they're on a secret list, but should they even be on that list in the first place? And should a secret list be used to deprive people of their fundamental rights? Perhaps one way to illustrate just how unreliable, to use a mild word, uh, useless this list is, consider that Ted Kennedy was once on the no-fly no list. Now, there's a lot of lists I would have put Ted Kennedy on, and as <laughs> a talk show host uh, said here in Washington, maybe he should have been on the no-drive list, but <laughs> no-fly list? I right, really, come on, let's, let's get real. Uh, that was such an embarrassment. Uh, he finally was able to get his name off. That was Senator Kennedy, yeah. uh, a, a really big guy in his day, and it was very difficult for him to get his name off. What do you think it would be for the rest of us if we inadvertently end up, uh, God help us, if our name is Robert S. Jones or something like that, where there are many other people with the same name and initial? And, uh, and you, you filed a... Uh, a uh an action part of a class action lawsuit, uh, gun owners of America is part of this. And I think that's the key thing that, that we need to understand because I've talked to people who've been put on the no-fly list without any explanation. They didn't know it until they got stranded. Uh, one particular case, guy was stranded in Hawaii. They let him fly the first leg of the plane, uh, his journey, and then uh, would not allow him to leave Hawaii. But the thing that really concerns me, and I think the thing that should concern people, even if they don't like the Second Amendment, people who want to have due process, who don't want to live in some kind of a star chamber existence where we have dictates from the executive, where we have a uh, star chamber process where an anonymous accuser can get you put on a secret list. And then based on that, uh, where you have absolutely no recourse against that, you have no uh, open process and, tr and trial, against that, they can deprive you of your rights, of your liberties. It sounds more like the Soviet Union or Nazi Germany certainly doesn't sound like constitutional government here in the United States. This is just so completely out of keeping with our form of government, and it's time we get rid of this, and that if law enforcement wants to put somebody on a no-fly list or a no-gun-buy list or a no-this-or-that list, go to court. Yes. Use due process. And then I'm fine, and I think everybody else would be as well. Yes, yes, exactly. That's why we have the Sixth Amendment. Instead of having anonymous accusations of things, there was a thing called the Star Chamber, and it was a direct response to the Star Chamber saying, you're going to accuse people publicly, you're going to give them a day in court publicly where they will have a jury trial, where they can confront their accusers, where they can call witnesses in their defense, where they can have a defense attorney. All of that, all of that is destroyed, and the people who want to take guns so badly that they would destroy this is absolutely insane to me. Well, they've got quite a nice little tool, and it seems to me it's not likely to stop unless the members of Congress hear from the people, and they're going to have to hear from them loud and clear because Congress has shown uh, over many recent months that they're not all that responsive. They're pretty much in a world of their own here in Washington, and we're going to have to put the hammer down. And it may take a few more defeats of people like Eric Cantor, John Boehner. And after a while, if they don't get the message, there'll be a number of them that just don't come back anymore. Yeah, that's true. And of course, what we've seen is an abdication of power by the Congress to the executive, who then operates as a dictator in conjunction with these bureaucracies who just put out their mandates and their edicts without any oversight. And of course, uh, <laughs> writing their own laws. Let's talk about the other case where you filed an amicus brief, and this is in the case of U.S. Uh, versus Watson. Do you want to break that down for us? Well, Mr. Watson was not able to buy a machine gun. Very few people in the United States are, and you could just forget about it flat out if you want to buy one that was made after 1986. Uh, that's wrong in and of itself. It's actually a bad idea that Americans cannot buy machine guns without a ton of paperwork and background checks that go beyond the, the regular gun purchase. And it's all the more embarrassing when you think that the machine gun is not that kind of big deal. In Norway, uh, when people buy guns, uh, they're encouraged to buy a silencer. And yet here in the United States, silencer is treated as just as 
much a boogeyman as the the machine gun. Yes, yes. We yes. Uh, we're on the wrong track. We've let the government tell we the people what kind of arms we're going to use in order to keep the government under control. The, the whole reason of the Second Amendment was just that uh, we have arms because of government. Because and of course. Of I'm, I'm sorry, I, I want to get a couple of these other uh, issues in and get your response to them quickly. Of course, it's a process of infringement, isn't it, Larry? And, and that's exactly what uh, Obama plans to do with his executive order. He's now coming after the so-called uh, gun show loophole, which would essentially outlaw all private uh, transfers of firearms. And he's saying he's going to do that by executive order at the beginning of the year. Well, let me say right now that if the president decides to do something as unlawful and unconstitutional as... Uh, an action against the purchase and sale of guns that is nowhere provided for in the Constitution or in the law of the land, then you're looking at a guy right now that plans to, maybe even on uh, your show, transact with another person in my state. So that that's not an issue under federal law. But uh, I've got some guns that I might want to sell, and he might have some guns that he wants to sell that I want to buy. And we're going to do business in contravention of that law. There you Come go. Come and get me. Excellent, excellent. Now, one last thing I want to get your response on. That was at the end of uh, last week, by the middle of last week, uh, the Virginia Attorney General, uh, Mark R. Herring, and I've said uh, that, it, I don't know what the R stands for, it should be red herring, but of course he said <laughs> that he's going to take away the, uh, not going to respect the concealed carry permits from people coming from 25 different states. He says they're too lax, and yet one of the states, Kentucky, that he's going to take uh, the recognition away from, they do background checks on a monthly basis. Your response to that? Well, Mr. Herring is obviously looking for any area that he can find to make gun control stricter and more difficult and more unconstitutional than it already is. And I can guarantee him that he's going to find his money bag has a hole in it the legislature is going to be cutting off his funds for that kind of activity. And if he continues, go right ahead, Mr. Herring. You're going to find yourself sitting in an empty office, perhaps, with not even a, a table to sit in front of. That'd be great. Now, I've had some people, when I reported on this, came back and said, perhaps this is a direct response to the president of Liberty University, uh, Jerry Falwell Jr. saying that he would like for his students to carry concealed because, of course, there's going to be a lot of students that uh, might be coming to that university coming from states where they already have a concealed carry permit. Is as you think this is a direct attack against them? Well, I'm sure that's the one very likely target. Jerry Falwell is not uh, right up there among the most popular with <laughs> the likes of people like uh, Mr. Herring and the governor of the state of Virginia. Uh, but, you know, personal animus is not the reason why laws are supposed to be made. Yes. And he's made a law. He, he's not a lawmaker, but he's made a law anyway. And I'm looking forward to the confrontation because I think he's going to come out of this with a haircut. Great, great. Thank you so much, uh, Larry Pratt, Gun Owners of America. I look forward to seeing what's coming up in the new year. It's going to be a fight. And I know you're going to be at the front of it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much hey, for what you're doing. thanks for shining some light on this. Appreciate it. Thank you. And as Kurt Russell said, now is not a good time to lay down your weapons. How will you protect yourself? Well, one way that you can protect yourself is to join us every night on the Nightly News. Be part of the InfoWar. Join us again tomorrow night at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.